Hey, if you're live with another informative product video, today talking about using the Livestream Producer software in conjunction with your Mac Mini or your MacBook Pro and the ATM TV Studio or ATM 4K switchers. This couldn't be easier, folks. Been doing this for many years. Of course, Livestream made things a little difficult because they have two different services now. They have what they call the new Livestream and what we call the old Livestream. Both have different plugins that you'll need to uh, download and use. So you're going to be uh, very important to know what live stream service you're going to be recording to. Is it the new live stream or is it the old live stream? Again, each one has a different plugin, and we'll go over that real quick here. I have, went, I have gone ahead and downloaded both softwares. And to know the difference between the two, the live stream producer talks to the new live stream and the live stream procaster talks to the old live stream. Two different formats. The live stream producer is more like a social media type format uh, where they uh, post your posts along like a Facebook style timeline. The Procaster is a traditional channel, much like a YouTube live channel. So those are your two choices within live stream using their dedicated live stream software. Of course, you can bypass the chaos all completely and use the Adobe Flash Media software, but we'll get into that into a different video. So. What I have here is a $140 Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. This connects via Thunderbolt. And it only takes the source as an in, does not allow you to do an output live. So in other words, you've only got this as an encode type card. But for $140, who's complaining? I had that hooked up to my MacBook here uh, via Thunderbolt. And I have the Ultra Studio uh, connected directly to my AT ATM switcher via HDMI. One of the nice things about the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder is that it has input for either SDI or HDMI. They don't both work simultaneously. But you know, you, if you're running out of HDMI outputs of your switcher, you can use the SDI and vice versa. So that's very simple, easy to set up within the control panel here. I suggest downloading the software directly from the Blackmagic website for the latest drivers. Once you do download the software and install it, you see that you have your sources right here. Again, couldn't be easier. Once I've decided that I'm going to use HDMI as my input source, I'm going to go ahead and open up Livestream Producer. Livestream Producer is again a free download directly from Livestream. And it requires me to have a Livestream Producer account, again, which I can have for free. In this case, I have it all uh, configured to my account. I would simply log on and choose my logon name and password. And as you can see, it sees the Ultra Studio as a certified source. So in other words, it immediately picked up the uh, mini recorder and made it an input source. All I need to do from here is set my preferences. Uh, in this case, the video, uh, any uh, advanced settings I want to have, what size video, any cropping that you want to do with a video source, um, and of course the frame size and the output being 16 by 9, 4 by 3, or a custom. You got your target bit rates, and again, my recommendation is to dedicate 500 uh, or half a meg bandwidth directly to live stream for a high quality multiplex encode. That'll allow that uh, stream to be split both for HD as well as. Uh, iPhone, Android use, and again, having an uninterruptible uh, up upload source is very important because that'll keep the video from getting choppy to live stream. Once you have that, you simply hit save and you hit go live. And now you are live using the live stream producer. I mean, that folks, that couldn't be simpler. Remember, I also have my ATM configured in this situation, so I can simply turn on my ATM software and switch between cameras and in order to send that out directly to live stream. It really is that simple. As you can see is once you have the software set up, you have uh, your audio mixer, which you would have your audio sources here, and you have your encode time and your status, which in this case is perfect streaming. In this case, I am putting out approximately 24 frames using about 9% of the CPU. Very simple, very easy to use, live stream producer, Blackmagic ATM combo. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.